this can never happen again. Do I make myself clear? No. Don't even say anything. I don't want to hear it. Do you even know how close I came to losing you tonight? One second later. One slip more and you'll be dead. Is that what you want? No. I'm not going to stop. I didn't ask you to play the hero. I told you to avoid taking risk, to keep your profile low. Not to intercept a glass of wine meant for me and drink it to prove that there was poison in it. When you went down, I don't care if you didn't have any regret, don't have regrets. You weren't the one picking up the pieces. You weren't the one waiting by your bedside hoping that you'd open your eyes again. Of course I'm angry. You think I'm, I'm made out of stone or something? What the fuck were you thinking, huh? What in the world inspired you to play hero when you had no training whatsoever? No, you don't. What if you'd been wrong, huh? What if your body was weaker than you thought? What if I hadn't gone, gotten an antidote on time? It doesn't matter if you trusted me to figure it out. Jesus Christ! Do you understand how lucky you, you are right now? If anything had gone wrong, any tiny thing, you'd be dead. Dead. Gone. Good. Because I think it's... It, because I think it deserves to re be repeated. I'm trained for these situations. Like this. You're just there to handle tech. You never should have been in the field like that. No. You shouldn't have. Because you made a risk. Stupid choice and it's only by some miracle you're alive right now. I'm the field agent. I'm prepared to make the risk. I'm the one with the poison resistance and the hand to train, hand to hand training. If anyone should have drank that wine, it was me. It doesn't matter if we got the guy in the end. We could have gotten it for something else and then added the poison onto it. You should know that. You're the tech person. You still don't get it. I'm not lecturing because you're a tech person. I'm lecturing because I almost lost you. And that scared the shit out of me. My whole career here. You've been the voice on the other end of the line. Guiding me. Calming me. Making sure I survive missions that get me out of such sticky situations. Even since I first joined the agency. You were my port and my storm. My safe harbor. I had the training, yeah. But you saw the whole picture. You've saved me more times than I can count. And tonight. Tonight. That could have all ended. I was against you coming out into the field. It has nothing to do with that. I was against it because it terrified me, okay? The thought of you getting hurt and me being nowhere to help. It tore me up. I mean, how do you think I ended up here, huh? You think it was mere coincidence that the agency sent me here too? No. Oh. They sent me here because I demanded it. Because I had to make sure you were safe. And tonight... I failed. No, don't. It doesn't matter why you did it. I don't want to hear your pure intentions. It doesn't change the fact that you took the hit meant for me. That you fell lifelessly into my arms, it doesn't erase the memory from my mind. 48 hours. That's how long I had to find the antidote. That's what the docs told me. 48 hours. That was after the 6 hours it took to figure out what poison you've ingested so that brings us to 42 hours we lost another four tracking which company would hold the antidote because it was such a new poison 38 five hours to fly across the country to bring in and steal the antidote 33 hours the re the recon took three hours and that was rushed 38 30 hours two hours for prep 28 hours the break-in luckily went off without a hitch and only took an hour then another five Hours back, so 22 hours remaining, and that's only because everything went well. If there were security had been tighter, or if I had made a mistake, it could have been longer, and you'd be dead. But you didn't think about that, no. You just played hero. Listen to me. You're not a hero. You never will be a hero. Heroes don't exist. 
their saps who die for stupid causes and then they're forgotten about. If you had died tonight, I'd be cursing your name. I don't care if it's harsh. You need to hear this. If things have gone south, and if you had died, because you matter to me. Do you remember my first job? It was a shit show. Intel was wrong, the tech person was wrong, a lot of people died. Me too, almost. I made it back to headquarters with blood everywhere, and I was waiting for the debrief. And that's when I noticed you. We weren't even working together. You met my gaze and you brought me a towel. You weren't even scared. You asked if I was hurt, then you wiped the blood from my brow. No one has ever done that before. And then we started working together and you were incredible. Nothing ever seemed to get under your skin. Nothing ever seemed to throw you. Even when that crazy job in Sweden went sideways, you never panicked. She got me through. I can't do this job without you. I can't. I can't live with myself without you. I thought I was fine with the things, well, the way things are. Better to just keep things simple, right? But when you went down, I, I thought that was it. That you were gone. That you had just left me and I hadn't even told you how I was how I was hopelessly in love with you how I had been from the first second I met you don't don't say anything I don't need a response you just need to know this if this fucks things up we can deal with it later but for now I just need you to know I love you so much and that's why I freaked out that's why I was mad because I'm the one supposed to take the hits for you not the other way around I'm the one who signed on for the field work not you <laughs> yeah well if you were up for almost 72 hours straight you'd be pretty shitty too Glad to see your sense of humor still intact. I don't know. Do we need to think about tomorrow? For right now, we can just be here with each other. Tomorrow, you can reject me or tell me off or say you hate my guts. But for tonight, I just need to see you talking and breathing. good I know and I will I may just nap in this chair no I don't think I could leave not right now sorry you're stuck with me <laughs> oh shut up you're tired yeah you are don't fight it the doc said your body needs time to recover so rest if we can fight tomorrow I'm not going anywhere I told you you're safe no one is getting in this room without me knowing so relax sleep is, is it annoying sorry my little sister used to get nightmares when we were kids. Only thing that calmed her down was me humming. Um, I, I can stop. Oh. Okay. I'll keep going if you close your eyes. You need rest. Good night. Mm -hmm.